Hi. Now, I've got an example here where we've got a quartic expression being divided by a quadratic expression. So, let's give this one a try. We've got to divide x to the power 4 plus 3x cubed minus 9x minus 9 by x squared minus 3. So, if we're doing it by algebraic long division, I'd want to put the quadratic expression out the front, x squared minus 3, and then we've got to divide it into our quartic. You've got to be careful here because one of the terms is missing. We've got x to the power 4. We now go to the cubic term, 3x cubed, but we've got no x squared term. So as I've said before, just make sure you put naught in for something like that. We've got an x term, so that's fine, minus 9x, and then we've got our constant minus 9 on the end. So in the usual way now, all we do is say, what do we multiply the x squared by in order to get x to the power 4? Well, it's got to be x squared, so we stick that up there, and now we do x squared times x squared minus 3. And what does that give us? x squared times x squared, x to the power 4, and then x squared times minus 3 is minus 3x three squared. And you've got to be careful where you place this term, it's got to go under the x squared term here. So we've got minus 3x squared. So we've got no x cubed term. So you could leave this blank or you could just simply write plus no x cubed. Up to you. But now we need to subtract to find out what the remainder is. So we've got x to the power 4 minus x to the power 4 which is 0 so I won't bother writing that in. 3x cubed minus no x cubed so that's going to be simply plus 3x cubed or just 3x cubed. Take care here, no x squared minus minus 3x squared is going to be plus 3x squared. And then we can bring that term down, the minus 9x. So if we bring that down, there you go. And we start all over again. What do I need to multiply the x squared with in order to get 3x cubed? And that's got to be plus 3x. So stick that up there. And then plus 3x now times all of x squared minus 3. 3x times the x squared is going to be plus 3x cubed. So that makes that term exactly the same. That's what we were trying to achieve. And then plus 3x times the minus 3 is going to be minus 9x. So you put that on the end here. And again, we've got no x squared term, so might as well put no x squared term in there. We now subtract to find out what the remainder is. And we've got no x cubed here. 3x squared minus no x squared is going to be 3x squared. Minus 9x minus minus 9x. Well, that gives us 0x. So I'm going to put that in, actually plus 0x. Bring down the minus 9 now and we've got minus 9 on the end and start all over again. What do you multiply the x squared with to give 3x squared? Well it's going to be plus 3. And so we multiply the plus 3 with x squared minus 3 giving us 3x squared minus 9. And that's looking very good because we've got two identical expressions here so when we end up subtracting we're going to get zero no remainder anyway that's the answer to the question might as well just make a note though that what does this tell us well we've got no remainder so in other words x squared minus 3 is a factor of this quartic. So you could actually say, not that we're being asked to do that, that x plus 4, sorry, x to the power 4 plus 3x cubed minus 9x minus 9 is identical to x squared minus 3 being multiplied by the quotient here, x squared plus 3x plus 3. 
So we end up with a quadratic factor here and a quadratic factor here. This quadratic factor doesn't factorize any further. So in fact, it would be left like this if we were asked to factorize our quartic. All right. Well, I hope that's given you some idea of how we can just divide a quartic then by a quadratic expression.